Welcome to Body Peak Supplements and today we're going to be talking about what is denatured protein. So let's have a look at what protein is to start off with. Protein is simply a group name of different amino acids put together into chains called peptides. Now all the peptides get put together to create protein. So basically you get a, a line of different amino acids that creates a peptide. Now the peptide naturally wants to fold into a circular type um, system. So it looks a little bit like this. Now what I want you to do is take a good note of the bonds, which are the rods, in between holding that protein together in that formation. Okay, so what denatured, that's natured protein, so that's it in its original form. So that's the form that it wants to be in. Now what happens is when we um, break or damage that protein, that protein is now no longer um, available to be used for its original processes. Now it needs to be used for something different. So what denatured protein is, is simply damaged protein. So how do we denature protein? Well, it's simple. Uh, most of it is done through three forms. The first thing is by adding acids. So if you mix your protein with something very acidic, those acids, such as grape juice, for example, can actually damage those bonds, opening up the protein and now having it denatured. The other most common process mistake people make is actually heating their protein. So if you heat your protein beyond 40 degrees Celsius, you are actually denaturing it by damaging it. So if you actually microwave it, big, 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 big problems there. Um, it is such under so much heat that it gets damaged really fast. So how does heat damage and denature protein? Well, heat causes vibration. So when you actually heat a protein, it actually causes a vibration to go through the protein, damaging those bonds and now opening your protein. So what we need to do is we need to uh, keep our proteins under 40 degrees Celsius and that's around about the estimated mark. So this gives you some sort of idea of a number of different things. Let's first have a look at egg. So basically when we put egg into a pan, it is clear and the reason why it goes uh, a white colour, uh, and I'm talking about the albumin here, not the yolk, is because when it comes in contact with the heat, the bonds are broken and that round peptide bond now opens up. They can now filter close to one another and, and become more compact and now that clear color becomes the color white. Another thing to think about is why your body gets hot or why we get temperatures. Our body naturally gets temperatures um, to increase our core temperature and increase heat beyond that 40 degrees Celsius in an attempt to break the bonds of the viral proteins. So it's our body's way of naturally trying to heal itself by damaging uh, the viral proteins. Um, so that's a little bit insight into denatured protein. Now, most whey protein happens to also be denatured because they have to go through a heat filtering process in order to create an isolate. So this is another reason why sometimes a concentrate or a blend may be a better option. Now what I've done in my research here at Body Peak Supplements and we've actually come across a type of whey protein that um, we can purchase, in fact I've already ordered it this morning so it should be in our store very very soon, which actually goes through a cold filtering process, which means that the protein is completely not denatured, it's in an original format and that means better growth and better strength for you.